at times when I look at the statements and also the promises that Deputy President William Ruto has been always feeding the public, at times I remain wondering if this is a true leader that understands whatever he feed to the public and whatever he believes on that it is achievable and it is possible. As I was just preparing for this video, I decided to try to bring up and follow up the Deputy Ruto's hypocrisy of the highest order when it comes to bomba support. And one thing that I was so much surprised was the same same person that talk, uh, fed the public with certain words in 2018, 2022, and now he is confirming certain issues when it comes to Mumba support that is not true. So I want you to watch this video. William Samaruto claiming at port ya Mombasa itahamishwa kuenda Naivasha. And this was a confirmation in 2013 and even the way he said that the operations of Mombasa port was going to be take, uh, transferred from Mombasa to Naivasha. Uh, Mombasa to Naivasha. So listen to that video. Wanatapeli watu wa Mombasa hii etipoti inataka kuhamishwa iende Naivasha. Kweli kuna tofauti ya watu waliokwenda kusoma darasani na wale walienda madukani kununua makaratasi ya certificate. I think you have watched that video. And the way William Samaruto stood on a daylight telling Kenyans and specifically the residents and voters from Mombasa at port ya Mombasa ili ahamishwa it was transferred from uh, Mombasa to Naivasha the same same deputy president William Samuruto in 2018 confirmed I have that video and I want to play it, uh, play it here. 2018, William Samoiruto confirmed that the operations of Mombasa port, they were going to transfer it from Mombasa to Naivasa, Naivasha. The same, same deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoiruto. So listen to that video. Hub of the Greater North Rift. It will also expedite transport of people and goods by reducing costs and delays. The government is keen to collaborate with counties in such visionary and transformative strategy. And of course, this is the kind of a leader that we are looking after to elect to be the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. I mean, if there's a kind of a leader that in any, in every issue or situation, he talks about four statements, three contradicting one statement. And this is the quality of Deputy President William Ruto when it comes to the issue of Mumbai support tra being transferred from, um, uh, being transferred to Naivasha. And this is something that I want you to understand very well. That you should not be cheated. The same, same deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, William Ruto, is coming now, twisting that they did not say that they were transferring operation of Mombasa port to Naivasha. That the government that Uhuru himself was the person that transferred the operation from Mombasa to Naivasha. The same, same deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Saying that he was not 
part of that decision making. Yet in 2018, he confirmed, listen. Hub of the Greater North Rift. It will also expedite transport of people and goods by reducing costs and delays. The government is keen to collaborate with counties in such visionary and transformative strategy. Mombasa, hiyo reli ndiyo itafungua Mombasa hii na tutairudisha ile poto wameipeleka mpaka kule Naivasha tutairudisha irudi hapa Mombasa na ifaidi then you are being fooled you are being as like you are being said as people that do not understand whatever they want the same same person is requesting for you to vote for him as the president of the republic of kenya remember he has been in the office since 2013 to this date where is still the current deputy president of the Republic of Kenya? Then promising the Mombasa residents that nikichukua hiyo uongozi nitatoa ile operation yeleto ipelekwa Naivasha na Kisumu irudi Mombasa. Nani alibeba? Who transferred the operations? of Mombasa port to Naivasha and Kisumu. William Samaruto has been this so much chief leader that he interrogate certain Kenyans and of course certain numbers of Ken number of Ken Kenyans with the, a lot of hypocrisy a lot of insanity, a lot of things that do not exist to Kenyans, but do exist to himself. And that is, again, William Samuruto, with his hypocrisy, is confirming again that there was no possibility <laughs> of carrying water of Mombasa port to Naivasha. And again, this is twisting words that it was not said that operation was to be transferred from Mombasa to Naivasha. The same same deputy president. Listen to that video. Wewe mutu ya Mombasa nataka ni kuulize. Eti sisi tutahamisha port kutoka hapa kwenye Naivasha. Yani bahari hii tutahamisha mbaka ifike Naivasha. Hata kama mtu huna akili hiyo itafanyika kwa njia gani? Si tumekuwa na serikali ya Hanshe kwa miaka 5. Inaongozwa na Uhuru Kenyatta na anatuambia mshauri wake ni huyu mtu akitenda wili ni kweli ama si kweli. Si kwa hiyo miaka mitano si operations ya port hapa Mombasa imehamishwa imeenda mahali ingine. Ni kweli ama si kweli? I mean Kenyans. Nani mjinga? Who is stupid? Who is being cheated here? We are being lied to publicly, live live. We are celebrating, clapping hearts, saying that this is a good leader. With a certain and such hypocrisy. And this is just one of millions of things that he has been lying publicly today go and ask him is this statement was was said by you in different decades 2018 2022 with the different words different tactics and different way of mobilizing certain groups in a way that they do understand whatever you're promising them. With a lot of hypocrisy, William Ruto today is lying to us 
that when is going to be elected as the president of Republic of Kenya is going to change the operation that was taken to Naivasha and Kisumu port to Mombasa port himself he was uh, in a media saying that they were going to transfer the operations of Mombasa port to Naivasha because this was going to benefit the people not only in Naivasha but also in Rift Valley at large there's the kind of leadership that we are having that Kenyans when we are told that let us wake up and see people that are going to lead our country you wait and clap for a someone for someone that is uh, uh, lying to us the truth to be said it has come to my attention that this quality and kind of deputy president ruto's gesture towards what he always say to the public it is not true this is a great and the biggest blunder that he has made since and a lot and a number of decades and the hypocrisy of william ruto has been always in public domain coming out very clear is not something that is has been hidden I know some people will describe me as someone that is biased. I'm not and if I should be one, let it be. But let the truth to be said. We cannot stand clapping for clapping for someone that is lying to us daylight. Ask William Samuruto today. He has released his manifesto in Kenya Kwanza Alliance ask him simple question what are your propagations or what are your arguments and real arguments towards this port of Mombasa Lamu port Kisumu port and other different part of the country the other time his brigades came out very clear led by Musali Mudavadi saying that the ports of Mombasa Kisumu Lamu and other ports across the Republic of Kenya has been mortgaged that this is not something that they agreed on but upon the intervention what was the reactions of William Samuruto when it comes to the brief and a press briefing that was held by his brigades led by Musali Mudavadi the same same person cannot advocate about land the same same person cannot advocate about corruption the same same William Ruto cannot advocate imagine William Samuruto telling his people waache kupanda mahindi wapanda avocado yeye anapanda mahindi transoya anapanda mahindi kwake then you are being told challenges that muache kupanda mahindi mpanda avocado himself anapanda mahindi ili tenda ya mahindi kitoka he is the only one that selling maize this is the kind of leadership that we are having when it comes to true quality of william samuruto so i don't regret giving out these issues and tabling the evidence of william ruto lying when it comes to the issue of Mombasa port William Samuruto is a such a leader that is a liar when it comes to even his manifesto is not advocating for this Mombasa port and of course this is the kind of leadership we are clapping for them saying that welcome Hasla narrative Hasla nation UDA William Ruto really if this is the kind of leadership that you are looking for it means that we are propagating certain issues on a wrong, on a wrong directions or right on a wrong uh, uh, preparation of the leadership that you want so to me when i was looking at these videos william samuruto is a such a big liar and a hypocrite of the highest order
as per what politics and leadership entails across the Republic of Kenya. What are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below so that we can share opinion in the broad light. Otherwise, I appreciate so much because of the great support. If you're a visitor, please do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel. Put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those, who are, for those who are returning subscribers, I appreciate so much. Thank you. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.